Couples argue 312 times a year. That's 26 times a month and about roughly seven times a day. The most common day is a Thursday. The most common time, 8 p.m. That's when they both get back from work and she says, how was your day? And he says, I don't want to talk about it. And then she takes it personally and he forgot to make dinner. So now they're both losing and there won't be a winner. Because when you're fighting, the living room turns into a boxing ring. The gloves come on, the lights come on, and our common sense goes off. Good analogy? It's a different kind of match now. Rather than a compatibility test, it's a battle at best. And what changed? Romantic date nights turned into frantic late fights. Walks on the beach turned into heated talks in the streets. Candlelight meals turned into fights about shopping deals. The three most common things we argue about are money, home, and time. 70% of couples argued about money more than anything else. 22% of us hide our purchases from our partners. It's not a message you'll find on Valentine's cards, but research shows couples who know how to fight are more likely to stay together. It's not just about how we date, it's also about how we communicate. Understand, pay attention, presence, listen. We've all heard about the love languages, but let me tell you about the fight languages. We all fight differently. Some of us love to go quiet because we need time to focus. Some of us need to talk it out because we feel that's the only process. Some of us need to vent and complain and some of us need to feel heard through the pain. What you need and what your partner needs may be different. Just because you need to talk and they go quiet doesn't mean they don't care or want the same result. Don't expect your partner to fix you. Find someone who will be there for you whilst you fixed yourself. But here's the thing, this is what we get wrong. Remember when you're fighting, it's not you against each other, it's both of you against the problem. If you win and they lose, you both lose. If they win and you lose, you both lose. The only way you win is if you win together. Don't say something mean when you don't really mean it. Don't make a permanent prediction based on a temporary emotion. In the heat of the moment, you can burn down a happy home. Now, the interesting thing is, a football player, a basketball player, don't prepare for a game at the game. They don't prepare for the challenge when they're in it. They prepare when the pressure is off. When things are good, we make the mistake to take it easy and get complacent and lazy instead of focusing on growing. Decide how you want to fight when you're not fighting. Set intentions and boundaries when you're not arguing. Make agreements and bonds when you're not battling. Don't wait for things to get bad to start working hard. Work hard when things are good and they'll never get bad. Thank you.